In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a functional shopping cart. We'll build a list of products that the user can choose from, adding product to his or her cart. We'll then create a confirmation screen, reviewing the purchase and calculating the final price. First, create a data master for a product with the name, price, description and photo as attributes. Edit the data master and introduce a couple of products using the Add Instances tab. Now on the canvas, add a data grid choosing the data master product we just created. Add the button Add to Cart to the row. On the button, we need to add an on-click action. Select the set value event and choose the variable product as the component where you will store the selected products. Clicking on the calculated value option, drag the row in the expression so that the data in the row will be the value of the variable. Now for the user to be able to select as many products as he wants, we need to add something to the expression. In the collection tab, add the plus button and drag the variable at the beginning of the expression. Now every time the user clicks on the button to select a product, this product will be put in the variable product. Click OK to close the two dialogs. In a new screen, we'll simulate a list of the selected product as well as the final price with and without taxes. In the new screen, draw a new data grid. Select the same data master, click somewhere on the page and add an on-page load action. In the event window, create a set value event. Select the whole data grid to select the component that will show the result and click on the calculate button. In the new dialog window, drag the variable product to the expression. Click OK to close both dialogs. From now on, this screen will only show the content of the variable product. Now we have to calculate the sum of the prices and add taxes to it. Drag three label components to the canvas. Clicking somewhere on the page, add another event selecting on page load action and then click on the arrow next to do to select add an event. In the event window, choose the set value and click on one of the labels. Open the calculated value window and drag the function sum to the expression area. Drag the data grid to the first square. In the second gap, drag the data master attribute price. Click OK to close both windows. Now when simulating, the label should show the sum of the prices of the selected products. In the second label, write the amount of tax that you want. Now for the third label, click again on an empty space in the page and add a third interaction. Like for the other ones, choose the set value event and choose the third label as the component that will show the result. Now click on the calculate value and in the new window, drag the function percent of to the expression. In the first square, drag the second label and in the second gap, Drag the first label. Now add the function plus to the expression so that the previous expression is the first parameter. Drag the first label to the other square and click OK twice. That's it. This label should now show you the final price, summing all the product prices, adding the tax amount to it. Finally, link the first screen to the second one. Now when simulating, Select several products and you'll see on the next page the sum of all your products as well as the final price to pay, taxes included.